Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to green screen like a pro. Basically how to extract this lady from the green screen. And I'm going to show you how to do it in an awesome way and like in under like two or three minutes. It, it's, it's amazing what Adobe's done. Let's get right into this. First step here, drag and drop in some footage like I have done here. You'll notice here if you look at this, at this image that the background is not perfectly lit. It's got wrinkles in the green screen. I've selected this stock footage on purpose because I don't want to show you a perfect green screen. I want to show you how to do it in real world conditions. Okay, the next step, if you're following along, take this layer and drag and drop it over this plus sign so you're creating a second layer. You can also do Command or Control J. That also works too. All right, I'm going to turn the bottom layer off and I'm going to work on the top layer. So I'm working non-destructively. Okay, the next step, I'm going to show you two ways how to do this, and they're both super fast and they're both super effective. The first one is the traditional way, which you now go up to the top, select, and you want to select color range here. Left click on that, and I'm going to go down, I'm going to show you what basically what, you, what I'd be seeing here is, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to select sampled colors just like this, and then when you hover over the green part, or over the image in at any part really, you're going to see an eyedropper. What you want to do is you want to left click on part of the green part, okay? So I've left clicked on it. I'm now going to increase the fuzziness. Let's increase it up to about 100 just for, just for demonstration purposes. And if you look really closely here, it's not bad. You want white, you want white and black, high contrast. Anything that's not pure white is not necessarily good. So we're going to be getting in some some of the dark stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go back to the image like this, hold down the shift key, and you're going to see that the eyedropper has become a plus. Now I'm going to go ahead and left click on one of the darker parts of the green screen where it's not as well lit or it's wrinkled. And you're going to see here that it kind of got rid of most of the uh, grayish, darkish part in the white here. Basically, like I said, we want this to be black and we want this to be white. So I'm going to just keep holding down shift I'm going to select another component that I think isn't very well lit. And I've selected about four or five pieces here. Now, you can always increase and decrease the fuzziness. You don't want to go too high, though, because you want her silhouette or her part to be pure black. You don't want to see, like, this scary movie-looking thing. So you'll see here that you'll see some uh, white there, a little bit on the black. That is not what you want. So as we dial it back, okay, I'm going to dial it back to about... Yeah, you know what? This looks pretty good. I think we've got black and white pure. I'm going to now hit OK. Bang. It's made the selection. Now, for me to show you how well we've done here, I'm going to go ahead and put in a background. So I've got a background ready. So I'm just going to click on my finder, and I'm going to drag and drop this blue background into this picture just so I can show you basically what we've done here. So I'm going to just click OK. It's not the right size. Now I'm going to redo that just so you guys can see it correctly. And this is not part of anything that you'd probably have to do, but I'm going to show you anyway. I'm going to drag and drop that below layer one. So, or below layer zero, pardon me. I haven't, <laughs> layer zero copy, I haven't renamed it. And let's do that one more time. And this time I'll show you how well we've done here. So we go up to select, color range. We're going to leave it exactly like we had it. Hit OK. And now what I like to do is I just hit edit, cut, and bang. You'll see that we have very close to a perfect green screen. You, if you go in really, really, really tight, and I'm talking way down, you might see a little bit of greenish tint on the edges, and there are ways to fix that, but for 99 out of 100 times, from this, from this distance, it looks pretty close to perfect. But I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to show you the second way of doing this. So I'm going to delete these two layers. Well, I'm just going to delete this top layer, pardon me. I'm going to leave this layer underneath. So this is where we're starting. So we've got our layer zero. Now I'm going to create a background layer, or uh, pardon me, a duplicate layer, like I said I would. And now we're not going to work on the bottom layer. We're going back to the top layer. Head back up to select. This time, instead of selecting color range, we're going to select subject. And this time, it's going to do some calculations. And it's going to draw around the edges of the subject. And it's done a very good job. Photoshop has come a long way. Now, I'm going to go up here to select, and I'm actually going to go ahead and show you first off what we've done. If we do select 
And let's see what we're working with. We're working with the girl. Okay, so we want to go to select. Now we want to go to inverse, pardon me. So what's happened is, is instead of selecting the lady, we've now, by clicking on inverse, we've selected outside of the lady. So everything outside of the selection, outside of her, is selected. Now if I go edit cut, I will cut away all that stuff. And there she is again. And I've left that background in so you can see it. And boom, we've got another really good green screen extraction, so to speak.